Growing up, I lived with my mom and my two aunts. On Sundays, we drove an hour to see my grandparents in North Augusta. This was the only world I knew as a child. What about your dad? Is a question someone might have asked, yet I had no answer when I was a child. I didn't even know who he was. I didn't even carry his name. It's like having a label on your back that you internally haven't registered yet. It's only when people ask you about your parents or ask about your dad that you feel something you can't quite explain. Do you let them go on thinking you have two parents or do you interject the comment of, I have a great mom? In some ways, I always wanted to relate to the kids in my school and ached for someone to say they had only seen the dad a few times and that he never came around on weekends. I wanted to give them more than what I read in his Facebook bio. Of course, I was left to ponder my situation alone in my neighborhood of Firescape. As I walked around my backyard looking towards the stars, creating visceral images of what could be, dreaming of my own calling into the world, wondering about who I was. When you go to a school where most of the people you know have two parents in their lives, it can make you feel isolated. People never knew that I didn't have my own room until I was 12, or how my mother worked for her butt off to get overtime and support my dreams to become a soccer player, one of the best soccer players in those days. The number would be too high to count of how many people have developed a poverty mindset that has been embedded into their system. So much so that they're unable to see what great things lie ahead and realize that these struggles are only a curse if one makes them so. Their true origin lies in the bedrock of greatness. Without a challenge, there's no story. Without a story, what is the basis of life? Think about our favorite movie heroes. Did any of them have it easy in the start? If they did, why would we even watch if we couldn't project ourselves into the screen and relate to people who were much like us, dealing with their own problems? In seeking to understand this, the fatherless can become the amazing, and the boy who fell alone without the father he never knew can become the man who inspires others to see their own greatness echo through the reaches of time. It's only through understanding this that one can break free and understand that the only person that dictates what happens next is you.